There will be many cases when you're out shooting where you don't necessarily have the best situation as far as light. You end up with a photo that's underexposed or overexposed that may be a little bit more difficult to fix than just playing around with highlights and shadows. In these cases, you'll want to blend exposures together. For example, both of these images here were shot at the same time, about a minute apart. One is obviously very underexposed and one is very overexposed. What we need to do is combine them together, blend the exposures, and create an image like this one. Just by using a couple of tools inside of Perfect Layers, we can take both of those images and merge them together. Let me go ahead and show you how it works. I have both of my images open inside of Perfect Layers in a layer stack, which you'll see on the right-hand side of the screen. On top of my layer stack is my bright image. This is the photo that is obviously blown out in the back and much too bright. Below it is my dark image. This is the one where the bottom part of the image is extremely dark. I'll go ahead and hide that bright layer really quickly so that you can see how dark it is along this bottom here. What we need to do is merge these together. On the left hand side of the screen, there's something called the masking bug tool. And I like to use this, especially when I'm combining images that don't have an extremely strict demarcation between the overexposed and the underexposed parts. It creates a soft gradient mask that is great for blending. I'll select that on the left hand side of my screen and then scroll up to the top to make sure that my shape is set to gradient. That means we're going to be using a gradient based masking bug that will split the image into two parts. The best part about using the masking bug is the ability to actually use multiples. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be placing a gradient mask along the bottom left of this railing and the bottom right of this railing to create a very cool custom mask. So let's start out by adding a masking bug. As long as my shape is set to gradient, I'll just click once in my image and you'll see that automatically the top half of the bright image is starting to disappear. This is definitely closer to what we want to do. However, I'd like to line it up with this railing right here. So to rotate your masking bug, click on the compass button on the right hand side and rotate it to match with the line that you'd like it to. If you're working with an image that has a horizon line, that's usually a really good place to start. Now once it's lined up correctly, the top and bottom dotted lines here indicate the feathering amount. Be very smart about feathering the edge of your masking bug, because in many cases, if you have no feather, by clicking and dragging that dotted line in, it can look extremely fake and very overly edited. So by adjusting the feather, and pulling this out a little bit, the softness between the darker and the lighter parts of the image will slowly blend just a little bit better. Now once we have the left hand side done, I need to go through and add another masking bug on the right hand side. So to do that, just go up to the top right hand corner of your tool options bar and click the add button. It will automatically apply another gradient based masking bug and we'll do the same thing that we just did before. Now if the masking bug isn't in the place that you want it to be, you can click inside the center and move it over. Then we'll use that compass button one more time to rotate it into place. I'm gonna go through and adjust the feathering amount. And there we go. Now, instead of having two images that are either too bright or too dark, we've merged them together to create one image where the top and the bottom are equally well exposed. Now I can merge these files together and I can take it into Perfect Effects to add some cool stylings to it. But as you can see, blending two exposures together is extremely easy, even if you have a spot that may be a bit more difficult than just a straight across horizon line, you can get very creative with your masking bugs.